Okay. Hi, everybody. So today we're going to give you a little brief introduction to the Medit i900, which has just been released today. So let's talk about it, Patrick. I think it's a beautiful piece of kit, actually. Uh, really like the small, compact size uh, head with the, with the new scan heads. There's a similar size head to what we had before. And now a really large scan head as well. And also, it's a very clean design. Yeah, a built-in touchpad here, which I think is super clear. I think, do you know what? One of the first things you'll notice about when we try this is the simple line press of the scanner. So, as they say, it's lighter than an iPhone 15, which if you've ever felt an iPhone 15, the new Titan in your body, it's a lot lighter version, and this is even lighter. So, it's a pretty darn light like this camera. I'm using it's five reps. And considering the online pictures, I think you see the head and see that it looks a bit chunky. Um, it isn't in real life, and the reality is that you've still got the option of the regular tip, which we've had before, and also the small tip. So we've got three sizes. Yeah. Um, there's also some really nice features, like Patrick said, the haptic sensor. Yeah. Um, that's one thing which is a big difference in terms of cleanliness to wipe it down and just basically keep it streamlined. Yeah, it's got the same features as with the previous i700, where you have that joystick control button, really. But that's all built in now, so it's completely sleek. And it's actually 360 degree sensor you, you can't really see it but you can just about feel the uh the structure of it here and also there's a nice big touch pad here so you'll see on the screen exactly where you are moving your uh your scan around and you can control the computer completely without having to touch any any keyboards or anything so i think that's very neat really in terms of technology one thing which few people have wondered is this going to be changing something like a confocal technology to be similar to you know a couple of other scans on the market um, it's not what it is, it's an updated version of the existing technology. So it uses triangulation. Uh, it's an updated um, video optical engine, um, which is their third generation now, obviously migrating from the i500 to 70, but now the i900, um, which is basically going to give it deeper scanning, deeper texture, better texture, uh, and also improved metal scanning. Yeah. You see that when it scans, it's a very familiar scan. So it's Everything about it, obviously, it's a new version of Metal Lake, but in the same way, it's an evolution. It's just the same familiar feel to everything about it. Uh, but one of the main things is, as well, the fast preheating. And I think, you know, the elephant in the room we need to talk about yep. is the cable any different? And yes, it is. So you'll see here it's a black cable. It's not the same white cable as we've had before. And they have made improvements. So where this cable there sits... That was the weak point of the i on the cable. And if it is go on, you'll know there is chance that with neglect, there's potential for that to end up getting worn. Yeah. This has a new reinforcement section here, which should hopefully alleviate those problems. Um, but in general, in general, it's really just a more ergonomic design. It scans a lot faster. Um, and more than anything, the size. Wide feel with you. I think that's See, the biggest thing for me, really. Yeah, well, no, and um, it's a light. Yeah. So let's have a look. What else is the battery? We've really? got this trackpad here. Yeah, so the trackpad like, makes a big difference. Um, you can use everything here just to control your uh, your computer. And uh, you can set everything up. So there's no need to go and touch any, any buttons, really. Uh, and it works all the way around. So it's a 360-degree touchpad for starting the scans. Uh, so you can just patch it, click it there, it's moving, and you yeah. see this overlay that's in the like Yeah, so you can just go back and forth here to just go through the different steps. Uh, and you can use the little touchpad here to just rotate things around. So I think it's really neat. Shall we try a speed test? Let's try it. Let's do a new scan. So I'm going to set this now to you. Oh, my favorite function of the Medin is where you can see the color of the teeth and also the blue outline to be able to see whether it's picking up well rather than a green uh, heat map. So again, you might think that it's just this trackpad, which is a touch component, but it's not. These small rings that move around it, those rings are where you can also double tap to start the scan. So I just want to delete that from in. And let's... Oh, we still have the news. Yeah. 
Okay, so double tap, and we get going. And first thing off, as soon as this gets going, you'll see what are the massive field of view. I mean, yeah. it's near on two molars in size. I'll move this around, and I can move this really fast, and it's still keeping up. You know, it's 30 seconds for a full arch is no problem now. Now, you can probably, with a bit of practice, really yeah, actually not super, fast. super fast. Yeah. And I think one of the main things that's been a problem in terms of scanners, you've seen a few scanners on the market evolving this, is to create that bigger frame of view because the main thing that people have difficulty with is getting the two sides to line up. If not, obviously, they've been trained properly, I, IDDA, hands on training, obviously. But if you haven't been trained, then getting the frames to line up is sometimes difficult because if you're not used to a good scanning strategy, then those findings might not have enough information to tie together. If, on the other hand, you have a big field of view and it's covering a little bit of the plate, a little bit of the buckle, a little bit more so with this new scan head, then it's going to make all of that a little bit easier. So you can see here, it's pretty much covering the entire tube. Yeah. I think that's a bigger scan frame than even like the prime scan. Or the yeah, it would, would be, yeah. Would be. Pretty yeah. huge. So what does this tell us? Well... We've got the option of, you know, even angulation still. It's not obtrusively big. And we have the option to take within the same scan, swap the head over to small if we wanted to get around maybe, you know, the couple of retro model area, that sort of thing. And again, obviously, we've got this nice little elegant holder. So everything else we don't need to cover because it's pretty much the same meta system. There's nothing new in terms of where we are with new developments on the software. There will be some new improvements of that all the time, but it's the same good, familiar feel. Just a new scanner, faster, with a few extra components. And other than that, I think that pretty much wraps up a nice brief review, Patrick. I think pretty, pretty much does. Uh, and of course, I think a big benefit is that it's working in metadata software that we know so well yeah and um, we know that they're bringing out new versions of this all the time so we can expect some really interesting updates on that as well i think the the other last thing i'm going to call on this is one really nice thing that uh, we've been told about is the fact that there's going to be a set uh retail price and also the fact that the um it comes with it's a premium product it comes with a laptop and if it comes with a laptop and it's got a set price what that does is it does what we've been trying to do for the last few years anyway, which it stops people with this race to the bottom. It means that you can choose your distributor base not on the provision of a laptop included or the getting the cheapest deal or getting something included. It's really making sure that you get in a good premium product included with everything you need and you're choosing that somebody to provide you the best level of support. So support education as always key yeah. so enjoy the i900 guys i think that's pretty much it for today yeah i think this would be a really success story for, for a good one yeah a really nice update for meta thanks very much for watching like a farm.